Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 2 of Magical Star Sign. When we last left off, we were jumping into space to try to find our teacher, and we had crash-landed here on a mysterious planet. So now it is just me and my wonderful wind mage fr bunny friend, and we're going to see what this planet has to offer. Okay, this doesn't look nice. What is that? It's huge! Well, I guess that means we go knock. Um, Lyra? Are you, uh, thinking about going in there? Duh. It's risky, and probably totally stupid, too. But I'm coming with you. Oh, well, at least she's loyal. Okay, we got a map. This place looks fairly simple. Hopefully it won't be too difficult to navigate. The Cave Ruins, okay. It's kind of dark, huh? Hey, uh, Lyra, I'm a little freaked out right now. So am I. Oh no! Oh no! Intruders detected. Initiate annihilation protocols. Don't you think that's a little overboard? Ah! Something's coming! Uh-oh. Intruders detected. Run Merciless Crushing Program 1.3. YAR! Okay. Hmm. Okay, so... Lyra's still powered up because it's at night. Uh, let's see. We are... Not that close to... Uh... Lassie getting the bonus bonus from the wind planet. I'm wondering if we should have let's see. Can I get the stats? I'm trying to remember. Because we need one person in the front row to take the physical hits. Uh I'm not sure how tanky Lassie is. You can see she's got a lot less HP and a lot more MP, so she's probably supposed to be the mage type. I would ideally like to have Lyra being the one firing off her magic and hitting all four people, but I just don't know if uh, Lassie can afford to be the tank. So I'm actually going to have Lassie move back. And yeah, we're probably just going to start firing off our magic. Okay, these guys are all earth aligned too. Uh, so Lassie will be able, should be able to deal pretty big damage. Oh. Or these guys are just weak, and I shouldn't have been as worried about it. Yeah. Like, they don't hit that hard, but that really does add up. Let's see how much this does. It's possible that this was just a waste of time, that we should have just been t using individual hits and taking them out. Okay, that's not enough to take him out. One hit. Let's see what a kick does. Okay, so one of those and a kick is enough. So Lassie's probably going to clear them with her next attack. Uh, unfortunately, Lyra has taken a beating, so... Uh, I'm probably going to have to be a little more careful. Or at least have the people rotate, so... Okay, we got them both. Cool. One, I assume this is money. Yikes! What's up with this place? I don't know, but I want to leave. Is it cowardly to go back to the Pokemon Center and heal every time? I don't know, but I think... At least until I figure out exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to. Want to use it? Yeah. Like, why would I say no? Yay. Let's see. Uh, row. I think if the enemies are going to be that weak, I think we actually just want to keep people both in the front row. Hopefully the damage gets a little more spread out. 
And I'm guessing that Lassie can also just one-shot people with magic if it comes down to it. Okay, it's an elevator. Oh. Well, now I wish I'd explored that first floor a little more. Let's go back down. I don't know if it'll let us enter this middle area, but I at least want to try. Shut tight. And there's nothing over here. Never mind. Away we go. Got a computer. Can't really use it. This place is giving me the creeps, Lyra. Can we go back? No. You're pretty brave, Lyra. Uh, okay, I guess I can keep going too. Yeah. Luckily, there are not that many floors to this place, so we can uh, explore pretty quickly. Oh, hey, a rocket. Hey, uh, Lyra? Isn't that a rocket? Yeah? Yeah, I think it's a rocket. We should borrow it and see if we can't get ourselves to Pafoon, don't you think? Oh yeah, we're on Erd, which is not the wind planet where we wanted to go. Whoops. And when I say borrow, I mean hotwire and steal it. But you got the idea. Ooh, I have an edgy companion. She doesn't play by the rules. Uh-oh. More of those robots? Not again. Intruders detected. Run anti-spyware utility. Uh-oh. A nasty one. Intruders detected. Purge, purge, purge. Uh-oh. Electro-knuckle charging. Ready to fire. Target acquired and locked. Firing in T minus. You should hit him before he does that. Uh-oh. Run for it! Where, where would we go? <laughs> Oh no, we lost. Prison? Oh no. This is why you don't steal rockets, kids. You get put in robot jail. <laughs> Where instead of bars on the doors, they just retract the bridge and you are threatened with spikes. Okay. Ah! Oh. Where am I? What's that giant robot? Lyra, where are you? Can you hear me? Am I all alone? What could have happened to Lyra? Lyra, if you can hear me, tap on the wall. Lyra! Oh, thank goodness you're alive. You must be right on the other side of this wall, huh? I'm so glad you're here. Wait, that came out wrong. But you know what I meant. <laughs> Looks like we're in trouble, huh? What are we gonna do? There's this big ditch or pit or whatever you call it filled with those scary, pokey-looking needle things. Plus, those robot thug- or robo-thugs are everywhere. What do we do? I don't know. What if I use... Oh. If I use the power of darkness. Okay. <laughs> this is sort of like adventure games like Monkey Island, except there's only one puzzle. I only have one tool. I, there was no, There were no other options. Again, I wonder what exactly light magic would have done there. Would I have just like flashed and blinded it? Okay, can't interact over here. Probably some sort of control panel. Ooh, a chest. Yes, I got a sugar star. Which, I don't know what that does.
Pizza the warp dude loves these sugar chunks. Eat one during battle to recover some MP. Okay. There's a button here. Press it. Yep. Yeah, I freed my companion. Oh my gosh! What's going on? Have the robots come back? No way! I have a bad feeling about this. I don't have a bad feeling. I am here to rescue you. Ah! Back off, mecha freak! Whoa! Lyra? You came to rescue me? Duh. You are so my hero. Did you beat up that gigantic robot guard? Uh, sort of. Lassie has joined your party. Yay. Okay, now we need... Gumbo... Gowl? Hmm. Oh, oh no! <laughs> He's not dead. And miraculously unharmed. Okay. All right, robot guard, let's see what you got. Okay, what was that? We are approaching Lassie being very effective, but we are not there yet. Okay, this guy is still earth aspected, so there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of strategy yet besides unload your magic on them. Maybe if we get into like longer dungeons where resources are more pinched or something like that. And then once we have more people, obviously row management will matter more, but especially when it's just one big enemy, there's, unless he's like, hits too hard for one of these people to hit, or one pe one of these people to handle, uh, there's no reason to keep them in the back row, because the damage will just be so diluted. But apparently this guy doesn't even hurt hard. He'll just have a lot of health. So we'll hit him with whatever we got until he goes down. That man again. Oh, he got both of us. Okay. I'm guessing that that probably has an ability to stun or something like that, but we haven't seen it yet. I can already see why uh, in the beginning menu it mentioned, I'm just going to conserve a little bit of MP here, uh, it mentioned that the route would be easier. Oh, level 3 lock on. Uh oh. Uh, well, we should try to kill it before that goes off. Oh yeah, but I can see already how the light magic side would be easier because, like, if these fights are generally going to go really long like this, then it's better to just uh, be able to outlast them. Like if here I could be making sure we stay topped off, as opposed to if it if the RPG combat strays towards uh, rounds being shorter, then... Oh no, the missiles. They don't hurt too bad. Yeah, that was a little nasty. Um, but yeah, if fights are shorter then you just want to be able to deal as much damage as possible and quickly wipe people out. Okay, we got him. Looks like we leveled up. Yay. We got a rusty screw. That doesn't sound very useful. Okay, we got uh, all those stats. Yeah, it looks like she's definitely... We're all mages, but in a game where everyone's a mage, some people are going to be more mage-like. She's going to be really squishy and deal a lot of damage. Hm. Nobody messes with Lyra or me. Uh, kind of hurt, but I suppose we got a lot of health back because we leveled up. So that's probably fine. Oh, what is this thing? And it just runs away. All right. Oh, yeah. We're very far from where we were before. Hey, what's that? We can go find out. Oh. Huh. 
There's a monster in this wormhole. Oh. Okay. So you it, encounter enemies. You actually physically run into them. Alright. Uh, yep. These are more earth enemies. We will quickly kill them all. Hopefully they're not too strong, because as I mentioned, we are a little hurt. Uh-oh. Let's see if I can kill one. That was probably a crit, and so doesn't actually tell us that much. Okay, at least they don't hit hard, but... We are gonna need... If not a healing spell, we're going to need, like... We're gonna need to get back to the ships. I've got a little bit of healing items, but not really. Like, I've got, like, one gummy, which means I can only heal one of the party members. That's not... Not super useful. Okay, so the last time I dealt about 190 damage, this time I dealt about 150, so they just got somewhere between there. Um, yeah. Uh, it would be overkill to keep hitting that one, so I'll just kick him with Lyra again. Interesting. So I know that they have a speed stat, but... Uh, do all the monsters always attack after all my party members, or do these two just have very similar speed stats? I suppose that's something I could look up if I felt like it. Oh. I wonder if that was a kit crit and I didn't pay attention. That dealt way more than Lyra. Yeah, the yellow gummy worm. Okay, so I guess I'll get healing items from beating enemies. Who's this? Oh, it's Pizza. That's the guy who liked the sugar things. Hey, hey! You, my friend, are in the right place at exactly the right time. Why, you ask? Well, listen to this. If you give me a sugar star, I'll create a warp point for you right here. Once I've got this warp point set up for you, you'll be able to warp here anytime you like. So what do you say? Do we have a deal? Yeah, sure. That sounds useful. And just like that, it's all taken care of. Wasn't that easy? Anytime you want to warp, just pop your old magical navigator open easy. Right then, be seeing ya. You know, if you don't have any sugar stars, just poke around on the ground. You can usually find some after there's been a strong wind. I'd look myself, but I'm kind of busy here. Oh, you'll have better luck if you look near a pot. Wish I knew why, but here you go. Near a pot? Like, okay. This game is strange. <laughs> Door. Okay, it looks like I cannot yet go through the door, so I probably have to go back towards this hole. Hole here. Do you want to jump in? Uh, not really, but I don't really see another option. Spring mole hole. Oh, hey, it's the guy who ran away from me. Wait, wait, don't tell me. You're the ones that broke out of robot prison, aren't you? I heard all about it. Yeah, that was us, but... Honestly, we don't really know what's going on around here. We're just trying to find the wind planet and rescue our teacher. I'm pretty sure we're on the wrong planet, but where are we anyway? You're a long way from Puffoon, that's for sure. No, you're on Erd, the Earth planet. I'm sure you've heard of it before. You know, home of the famous spiny moles? Uh, yeah. Spiny moles? Yeah, we have a legend says that when we have eaten all the worms in the earth, heroes will descend from the heavens and deliver us to a worm-filled paradise. Oh, uh, okay. Slobber. Oops, excuse me. Makes me drool a little bit just thinking about it. And you're saying we're those heroes? Exactly! Oh, well, that's convenient. I mean, you are, aren't you? I'm not so sure about that. Maybe you'd better see our king. He's been waiting for you to arrive. We all have, actually. Okay. More moles. Yay. It looks like this place isn't hostile, so I'm not in danger of dying. That's nice. Oh, yep. I found the Mole King. King Gorgonzola. Okay. I think basically everything is food, but I just didn't recognize some of them. <laughs> Salutations, and welcome to Peat Moss, capital of the Spiny Mole Empire. I wonder if he's got spines and they're just hidden by his cape. Mole Empire? So you're all moles? 
Moles, how dare you, Mr. Munster. Okay, or Minister Munster. We're spiny moles. How, can you not see? And you're addressing his royal majesty, King Gorgonzola, the 13th king of the spiny mole dynasty. What our minister says is true. We are King Gorgonzola de Formaggio. Like, fromage? Okay. Or maybe that's Italian for cheese? I don't know. 13th king of his mighty mole monarchy. Judging by your appearance, you are not from this planet. And judging by the fact that you have escaped the robot's prison, Minister, could these young magicians be the ones prophesied to appear at the time of the great perishing? Are these the ones sent to bring salvation to our world? Indubitably, your majesty. No doubt they are the heroes of prophecy. The ones who come to us in the doomy times. Not the doomy times. Um, doomy times? The story is well known to our people. You see, when doom comes to the world, heroes from another planet will save us. You, my young friends, are from another planet, and now, I fear, is indeed the end we have feared for f so long. Once, we had many magicians living in this kingdom, but the robots have taken them all away, made prisoners of them, and our earthworm harvest has dwindled. Heroes? But we're not supposed to be here! It's an accident that we're even here in the first place. We were trying to get to the wind planet to look for our teacher, Miss Madeline. We just crashed here by accident, and now our rocket is busted, and we can't leave. Such humility. It speaks well of great heroes that you do not even see your own greatness. Uh, yeah. You want to go to Pafoon, and yet you have no ship. And so you want to help us so that we might help you, yes? Er, no, that's not really what I was trying to say, exactly. Don't be so pessimistic, space heroes. We are certain that you will find your way to the wind planet in due time. Yes, all in due time. Minister, fetch us the books. With all haste, your clawfulness. Oh, man, he can move. Here you are. The prophecy is written in two books. One is the Book of Darkness, the other is the Book of Light. Read from the Book of Darkness. Yes, your majesty. Ahem. In the doomy times. That's how the best books of prophecy always seem to begin, don't you know? Allow me to read on. In the doomy times, saviors will appear from a far-off planet and end the reign of the Ant Queen with the power of magic. The Ant Queen? Yes, the scourge of our people. The Ant Queen. She has harried our kind for far too long, and she must be stopped. This is the favor we must ask of you. Vanquish the Ant Queen. Will you accept our request? Uh, yeah, sure. Ah, you have our gratitude. Uh, Lyra, didn't you hear the whole bit about the scourge of our people? Are you sure about this? Did I stutter? The Book of Darkness also says this. The heroes will lead the spiny moles to a wormy paradise. Uh, I can't really promise that bit. But the hero's journey will not end. They will continue on to greater deeds. A wormy paradise? I didn't think it was possible to combine those two words. The heroes will defeat most villainous evil. The spiny moles will be at their side when that moment comes. But you will help us sooner or later, right? Fine, I guess we just have to take your word for it. Thank you, O oh shorter of two heroes. Now tend, now tend to the Ant Queen, as is your destiny. Rightly spoken, your majesty, but they may need time to make whatever preparations they deem necessary. Ah oh, yes, I knew there was a reason we kept you around, minister. You are ever a gushing font of wisdom. The heroes shall prepare in our village. We will travel to the digging field and await their arrival on the outskirts of the village. Okay, so this is when I get to buy equipment and supplies and stuff. See, let's look around. Um, I don't actually have much money, so I wonder if I'm, like, supposed to go back outside and grind on those worms. Let's see. Hello and welcome to Sweet Root Inn. Stay the night and rest up. A little shut-eye and all your injuries will be healed. It's five beer a night. Would you like to stay? 
Uh, yeah, I think so. We were a little beat up. Are you planning on staying until morning or until evening? Uh, well, I fight better in the evening, but I think we're going to prepare for a little longer before we actually go to do that other mission. Eh, let's just go until morning. Who knows, I might have to end up staying again, but it's only five and I was getting between like 20 and 100 depending on the fight, so I should be fine. Come again. All right, so this looks like the actual shop. Welcome, take a look around. Let's see. Tie this bandana around your head for a new look that can't be beat. Is it? Oh, it increases whatever stat the light bulb is. Intelligence, maybe? Ah, this increases strength. Final shirt. Oh, these look. Let's get out and see if I am actually wearing any equipment at the moment. I don't think I am, but there might be some starting stuff. Uh, yeah, it looks like... Yeah, we don't start with any equipment, so... It's probably in our best interest to pick up a little bit of stuff, even if this isn't very good. Um... Yeah, we can just pick up a couple shirts. And then, we're not physical attacking very much, but we can't even afford two bandanas. So, I guess we'll grab one. We'll use that to shore her up a little bit. Say okay. And now we're poor. That's okay, though. Equipment, bandana. Uh, she needs it more. Yeah, now we both have vinyl shirts. We're tough. Let's see if it'll let me go back. I don't actually know how hard this game is. I don't know if I'm supposed to grind or anything like that. Um, oh. I didn't climb down a ladder to get here. I fell down a hole. So I definitely can't go back and do anything else. So I guess we're gonna now proceed. Um, I wish I'd made it nighttime, but here we are. According to the Book of Darkness, the Ant Queen is a vicious adversary. Please do be careful. Go down the ladder there, and then go deeper and deeper into the caverns until you find the Ant Queen's lair. Heroes though you are, you do not feel the need to be extra superheroes. If you take any injuries, Come rest at our local inn. Okay, so they want you to be able to come back. It can be dangerous in those caverns, and you must be cautious. Okay, so I am going to go ahead and save. Because, as I said, I don't actually know how hard this game is. I don't know if I'm about to be brutally murdered. And I'd rather not lose a whole bunch of progress if that's what happens. Oh, we can just... Pick these up and then eat them. That's slightly disturbing that our candy is just made out of creatures that are alive right now. I'm full of delicious HP restoring water. If you ever hurt, just drink up. Okay, so we don't even need to stay at an inn if we just need HP. The inn's probably just if we need MP. Okay. Oh, okay. So, yeah, I bet sometimes you get ambushed as you're trying to harvest the gummies. Oh, she's powered up right now. Got, yeah, looks like almost everything on this planet. Or maybe just actually everything. I wonder if they'll continue to give me... Oh. Hmm. Okay, now I'm just curious. Is it just wind magic that doesn't work on these guys? Or all magic? Is this about to do one? Yep, one. Okay. Let's see what it's gonna do to me. Okay. Ow. That hurt. Yeah, dodging it. Alright, so magic is not a good idea. Let's try and kick the crap out of them. Oh, but they're still really squishy and weak. Alright, good to know. Oh no! I didn't hit hard enough. Ah! 
finish him. Okay. It's funny. Uh, if anything, those types of fights are, like, better for this environment. Because I could just run back up here and heal. So, I'd like to take a sip. Yep. Yeah, and so, like, we used a little bit of MP, but then quickly recovered it. Because you recover MP over time. Uh, and our health loss is, like, not actually important because we can immediately go get it back. Now we know. I'm sure these guys are the same. I suppose I shouldn't say I'm sure, but I would bet that magic is a bad idea. Nope. <laughs> I was the opposite of true. Uh, these ones don't take any damage from physical hits. Okay. Deep Slash? That didn't hurt as bad as the guys who could hit us with their canes. Alright. But yeah, like I said, I, I don't know how fast you're supposed to take this game. I don't know if it wants you to grind for an hour every time you get into a new zone, or if I'll just be able to... Oh, he said you found... Okay, so Pizza said that you find sugar stars when the wind blows, and he said you find them near bots. I didn't process until just now that I need to make the wind blow. That's that's on me. Let's go ahead and do that. Hear me, wind. Hear my call. Dancing in the sky, shaping in the clouds, whispering to the heavens. Hear my plea and send your gale. We only need to give him one sugar star? Okay. Maybe these are just, like, the only way to get MP back. Like, they'll actually be a real commodity. The Ant Queen's territory is up ahead. Oh, he's Feta. They're all cheeses. Wander around there, and you're just asking for ant soldiers to come wail on you. I don't think that's the right form of wail that he wanted, but... Uh, anything over here? A chest! Lyra opened the treasure chest. We got some nut spread. I don't know what that does. Okay. Okay, the yellow worms heal much less than the green frogs, which is still nice because, like, 150 is usually going to be overkill, like, since Lassie doesn't even have 150 health. So everything things that are more granular is nice. Nut spread... I don't... So, they're called sugar stars, and they were stars when I picked them up, but then it's like, a sugar pea? I don't know. Eat this nutty spread during battle for a boost to your defense. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, and I picked this up. Rusty old screw, you could sell it, but it's probably not worth very much money. Well, that's just sad. It's just nothing. Then. Oh. Okay, so I can run into enemies, like, while I'm digging and stuff, but... It looks like actual enemies don't appear on the map. They're just random encounters. Which is a little more annoying, but doesn't really matter. Yep. Yeah, like, even that very trivial fight gave 10 uh, Bira. And so I'm really not worried about having to spend 5 at the hotel. Oh, hey, it's nighttime already. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and have he her keep using it. How far away are we from leveling up? Uh, team. Let's be, uh, we don't get real numbers, I guess? Okay. Uh, we're not that far from level 4, so I guess that's all I need to know. Lyra up in the treasure chest. Thunder bomb. What does that do? Battle. Yeah. The bomb surges with the power of the wind. Use it to attack all your enemies at once. Okay, so, like, if I'm not in a good position to have Lassie be in the back and hit everybody, I can just throw that. Seems good. Useful to have. Oh. 
That's some kind of item, as soon as we can get to it. Yeah, like, if Lassie is recovering 5 every time, but only using 9 from Wind Talon, like, it's gonna take a lot of fights before she runs out. I got a green frog. What's this thingy? Got a wakey tail. That wake people up if they get put to sleep? Rise and shine with the sparkly tail. It wakes up unconscious characters with these. Oh, is that like... Is this like a revive? Like if my, I actually get knocked out? Or do people put me to sleep? I don't know. We'll find out. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of loving how simple the maps are in this game. And like it gives you the maps. Like... With the touch controls and everything, it could be really awkward if I just had to keep running around in circles and trying to find my way and stumbling around, but this has been very clean and intuitive. Ew! You got it right, Lassie. That deserves an ew. That icky pulsating thing has got to be the Queen Ant, don't you think? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Oh, it'll let me see it. Cool. <laughs> I love that the start menu just has, like, its own music every time. It, it just kind of kills the tone. <laughs> like, yeah, now we're back to the big epic monster encounter music. These are different colors than I fought before. Let's see. Oh, we have new boss music. Okay, don't hit that one with magic. Okay, and it looks like speed actually does matter in this game. Oh, ant acid, like an anti acid. Okay. Um. Oh uh, well, I'm still powered up. Let's try this one. Oh, it, the color doesn't matter. It's what they're holding. He's holding the cane. Don't use magic on it. Dang it! I should have been able to figure that out. Oh well. We can go ahead and kick him in the face now. Oh, he is powerful, but mostly doing fine. Oh yeah. Dodging stuff, and I had all those heal items, so I figure that I should be fine here. Let's see how hard I can hit the Ant Queen. Usually in these types of fights, you're supposed to, like, pick off the cronies and then fight on the... Er... Uh, oh, no! Okay. This is... Oh, well, that wasn't that bad. I thought that was going to be worse. Um, this is apparently one of the beat up these guys, or you're going to have a lot tougher time with her. Okay, he's gone. And I don't know if she'll call more. But they're, it's always more fun, at least for me, when the game is willing to, like, mix it up. Like, there's a fight in, uh, in Persona 4 where there's the main boss and then he has two allies. And if you try to beat up on his allies first, it's just really, really hard. Like, they all deal so much damage that it's very difficult to make your resources last long enough to kill all three. Even if he is the main boss would be easier to fight without friends. So sometimes you have to mix things up, but it does look like the better idea was to just uh, beat up those guys. Two, not much, but I don't really need to use healing items yet. We'll see if I start taking a lot more damage or if her attack pattern changes or something. Otherwise, I'll just keep hitting her with everything I have. Lackey call. Ah, oh, okay. Yep. Okay. These are both guys with the sticks, so we're gonna have to kick them. Hopefully, your rotations is enough. Two physical attacks. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, that was the day changing. <laughs> I thought that was, like, some special attack or something. 
don't know. She might have to use an item soon. Okay, that hurt a little bit worse than last time. Like this guy. And then, I actually don't know, because I haven't checked yet, uh, how using items works exactly. Can I use them on other people? I'm gonna go ahead and burn a green frog. Okay, I could use it on the other person if I wanted. This isn't being super efficient, but 50 isn't quite enough. So. Don't want to waste too many turns using items. Okay, this will work out. So Lyra should be able to finish this guy. And then we can go back to Lassie hitting, which is how we want it to work out because it's day now. I'm not dealing double damage with Lyra. So I want to maximize using wind magic on the earth boss. Lyra's probably going to have to use an item soon. Okay. Let's see how much we're hitting for. And it looks like as long as I don't do anything stupid, I should be able to win this. But I've got that wakey tail, even if I do mess up and someone gets knocked out. And Lassie is just not very tanky. Okay, got her. Okay, so it doesn't look like this game is that hard. 170, cool. Level 4, we got... Uh, like I said, it's really weird that sometimes you get like a million different stats going up and sometimes you get three. All right, cool. Ew, I think she left something. A chest. Is that like under her tail or shouldn't we at least take a peek inside? Well, duh. Lyra opened the treasure chest. You got the diggy claws. No, I don't know what those are. Yuck, what is this? It looks like some kind of glove. It looks nasty. I'm sure my inventory will tell me what it is. Piggy claws. Spiny moles dream about this legendary glove. Oh, so I give it to someone else and prove that I'm a legendary hero? Uh, cool, I guess. More random encounters. Shouldn't these guys be, like, leaving? Their queen's dead. They have better stuff to do. Oh, cool. Now I'm regenerating six a turn. Soon I'll be able to use my basic magic every turn and be regenerating MP. Although by that point, the basic magic probably isn't very good. <laughs> it's usually how these things end up balanced. Oh no, I just wanted the gummies. <laughs> The magey ones. Let's see if we're more powerful now. Bam! No. We are not really more powerful. <laughs> These people are remarkably agile for magic students. Just jumping all over the place with their flying kicks. I suppose it makes sense for the rabbit, but I don't know about my regular person over here. Dang. The, the difference in regeneration is insane. Like, their mana pool difference was already pretty severe. But, like, regenerating less than a third of a spell cast versus regenerating two-thirds of one is nuts. Yep. Hot. Give me HP. Okay. Then, no one wants to sit... He may sit and farm uh, yellow gummy worms all day, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab these guys and get back out of here. Actually, I do want to check. So is the whole uh, sugar stars, is that like a one-time thing per zone, or uh, should I be grabbing a bunch of these every time? Let's find out. Okay. 
probably one time per file. Let's go find our mole friends. Uh, I'm guessing King's back on his throne. Yep. Oh. You're back? And the Ant Queen has been slain? You must report this fantastic news to the king at once. Oh ho ho! You have vanquished our hated enemy, the Ant Queen? There is little left to do but to declare you a mighty hero, Lyra. I mean, obviously. Allow me to extend our most sincere thanks. Please, you must tell us. Did the Foul Queen have something special on her personage? Special? Not so much. She just had this weird-looking glove. Here, you take it. Could it be? Have you recovered the great digging tool of legend? You have! These are the diggy claws. One knows the legends, of course, but one never truly believes that such a thing could exist. But here it is! What? The diggy claws? Allow me to explain. Spiny moles are excellent diggers in soft soil. But even we have trouble when it comes to hard soil and rock. We've dug everywhere we could on this planet. We dug up every last worm that could be found in the softer soil. Ah, so the wormy paradise was in our hearts all along. We just needed a new glove. The diggy claws are the answer. With these, burrowing through solid rock is a breeze. Indeed, a joy. But they are useful only in the hands of a spiny mole. But... You did fight so very hard to retrieve the diggy claws. Go on, take them. N nah, I'm, I'm good. No, really, we couldn't. You're the ones who are so crazy about worms. Huzzah! Did you hear that? They refused our kingly reward. Do you think that, perhaps, they truly are? There can be no doubt. They are indeed the heroes foretold in the Book of Light. This game is just like, silly Final Fantasy. Minister, fetch me the Book of Light. With all haste, your clawfulness. He is just zooming along again. <laughs> Here it is. Read it immediately. Ahem. After forming a bond of friendship with the spiny moles, the heroes selfishly refu selflessly, <laughs> important distinction, refused the king's reward. Caring not for their own happiness, and thinking only of the well-being of the spidey moles. And then, the heroes... Ah, uh, wah, wah, wah. Keep reading. I can feel time. Nay, history itself is on a cusp. They will release the sleeping planets from their curse, and will depart for new horizons aboard a ship of light. All dreams of all men shall come true at that moment. That's so moving. So poignant. Heroes, you mentioned you were headed for Puffoon, did you not? Now it is our turn to help you as you have helped us. You are to journey to New Horizons, or so the legend says. And so we will do whatever it takes to send you to the planet of the winds. I understand a rocket lies dormant in the center of the Cave Ruins, deep in the innards of this planet. The Cave Ruins center around a tower of great power. When the tower lost its power, the spaceship became dormant and slept. The only thing that can wake it is the star buried in the land where stars sleep. While I know a few details of this legend, I am sure you will be able to unravel the mystery on your own. Great hero Lyra, grant these regal claws the opportunity to help you. We shall dig you a hole to the land where the stars sleep ourselves. Would that we could do more to repay our people's debt to you, we shall begin at once, to the digging grounds. Oh, and take as much time as you like preparing. It may take us a while. See you there, on the digging grounds. Okay. I'm a little curious, now that we have a little bit more money from the ant. Okay, it's night time. I'm wondering if the inventory changes at all up here. Welcome, take a look around. I no, it does not. Um, I could pick up, like, another bandana on the leather wrist, but these are, like, not actually very good. I suppose I can s sell that rusty screw. Because... Apparently it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, and... It hasn't quite been an hour, but I'm okay with 50-ish minute episodes. So I think that'll be all for today. Um, 
I hope you enjoyed the second episode of Magical Star Sign. This game does make me laugh, which I appreciate a lot, so I'm going to keep going. Uh, thanks, and see you later. Thank you.